Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create and manage OUs in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. An organizational unit is a logical subgroup within Active Directory that you can use to organize objects and resources within Active Directory or control how they operate or are impacted by using group policies. In addition, you can configure security settings on your OUs so that a subset of management permissions are assigned to a user or group on that OU and therefore objects within that OU. This is known as OU delegation. Before you proceed to create new OUs in your domain, you should take some time to plan an appropriate OU structure. Your OUs must be meaningful to administrators for them to be able to navigate through the hierarchy and perform their functions. You can arrange OUs in a proper way by using a model that combines the network administrative structure with the company's organizational chart. In a small active directory infrastructure with 20 to 50 users, there is no need to create a complex OU structure. You can add all objects to the default root containers like users and computers or can create and separate OU for them. In large companies with branches in different locations, it is convenient to organize the AD hierarchy according to the geographical structure of the organization. For example, if your departments are located in different states and cities, you might organize the OU structure to reflect the physical location of your organization's offices. Creating OUs is a similar to the creation of other object types in Active Directory. To create an OU, you must be a member of the account operators, domain admins or enterprise admins groups by default. From the server manager's tool menu, select Active Directory users and computers. In this video, we will use Active Directory users and computers to create and manage OUs. To create an OU, right-click the domain or other container in which you want to create an OU and then select New Organizational Unit. In the New Object dialog box, type a name for the OU and then just click OK to create an OU in Active Directory. But there are some best practices for using Active Directory organizational units. Think about how you want to organize your users, computers and other objects. Consider factors such as department, location, role and type of devices. Use OU nesting to create a hierarchical OU structure. Let's right click the domain name, point to new and select OU. In the name box, type the name for your OU. We will type India and then click OK. We are creating OU based on physical location. Next, use a consistent naming convention for your OUs. This will make it easier to find and manage OUs. Right click the India OU, point to new and again select OU. We are going to create nested OU. That means we are creating a child OU within the existing parent OU. In the name box, type the name for your OU and then click OK. In this example, I am giving name IND Marketing to our OU. Click OK. We can see the OU structure has been created. The new OU has been created under India OU. Next, create separate OUs for users, computers and servers. This will simplify group policy management. Right click the India Marketing OU, point to New and select OU. In the name box, type the name for your OU and then click OK. In our example, I am typing name IND of Marketing Users. Click OK to create another child OU. The OU has been created successfully under IND Marketing. Let's create another OU. Once you create your OUs, make sure you document your OU structure. 
This will help you and other administrators to understand how your OUs are organized and how they are used. After you have created new OUs, it is easy to move objects such as users, computers and groups to the new OU. Simply drag the required objects in Active Directory users and computers or Active Directory administrative center to the appropriate location. You can also right click an object and select move option. Select the desired destination in the move dialog box and then click OK to move the particular object to the OU. Click on users container. I have already created one user for testing purpose. Right click an object and select move. Select the desired destination OU to store the user. Let's expand India, India marketing and I'm going to select the OU India marketing users. Click OK. Click on India marketing users OU. You can see the user Josh Smith has been now stored under the OU India marketing users. Let's click on computers and let's try to move the computer account to the OU. Let's right click on this computer account, select move, select the destination OU which is going to be India marketing computers. Click OK. Click on India marketing computers and we can confirm that computer account is also moved to the destination OU. So the process to move users and computers are very easy to follow. But how we can move an existing OU from one location to another location? For that, let's create an OU by clicking on the new OU option from top menu. Let's type the name of this OU, IND-Sales. Click OK. The OU India Sales has been created successfully. But we have created the OU under the wrong parent OU. We have created India Sales OU under India Marketing Computers. Actually wanted to create the OU under India OU. So let's see the steps to move an existing OU. Right click an OU and select Move. Select the desired destination in the Move dialog box and then click OK. In this example, we want to store under India OU. Click OK and wait for an error message. You will receive an error message stating you cannot move the OU, access is denied. Click OK. Even you are not able to delete it. Right click and India Sales OU and select a delete. Click on Yes. You will receive an error stating you do not have sufficient privileges to delete the OU or the OU is protected from accidental deletion. To move or delete an OU, you must have the appropriate permissions and you have to clear the checkbox for accidental deletion protection. Right click an OU and select properties. The checkbox for accidental deletion protection will be available on objects tab. We need to enable the advanced view to see that option. Click OK. Click on view and select advanced features. Now again right click an OU and select properties. Right click on India Sales OU and select properties. Click on object tab. Clear the checkbox protect object from accidental deletion. Click on apply and click on OK. Now right click an OU and select move. Select the destination OU which is going to be India in our case and click OK. Click on India and now we can see we have that OU under India OU. Now let's select the checkbox again to enable accidental deletion protection on our OU. Right click on India Cells OU, select properties, go to object tab and select the checkbox. Click on apply and OK. Click on view and again click on advanced features. This will remove the advanced features to view. Now, Expand India and we have our both OUs, India Marketing and India Sales under India. You have to follow the same steps if you want to delete an existing OU. For that, you have to clear the checkbox of Accidental Deletion Protection, then right click on an OU and select Delete to delete an Active Directory OU. In this video, we have learned the steps to create and manage OUs in Active Directory. In the next video, 
we will look at the steps to configure OU delegation. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.